Joining me in the room podcast to talk about his pro featherweight title fight happening at Combat FC 6 on February 9th is shameless Don Shanus. What's up, Don, man? Welcome once again to the show. How are you? What's up, Steve? How are you? I'm good. I'm doing great, man. Uh, it seems every time I interview you, you are in either in Vegas, um, New England, traveling around. Where are we today, Don? Uh, I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, training where and uh, how long you been in Vegas? So for this camp, I've been in Vegas about six ish weeks. I think I got here the, well, officially like the 11th. So we're, we're just over a month right now training in Vegas. Uh, I spent the whole holidays here and, uh, yeah, dude, it's been fucking awesome. I've been training out of syndicate and like popping in and out of the PI when I can get in. So the the training's unreal. The the coaching's awesome. The the schedule's awesome. I fucking love it out here. The, there's no fucking snow, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm sure there's a ton of pictures being sent your way saying uh, how jealous, uh, you know, family and friends are that you're there and uh, we're here in the snow here. Um, no, I'm I'm just starting to tell people like, yo, dude, I left. Like, you know, I'm like hitting up everyone for the fights. Like, yo, dude, I moved. I kind of just like up and just. Fucked off. Now, as far as the move, is this just for the training camp, or are you thinking of relocating to Vegas and uh, kind of, you know, staying there for the, you know, duration of your career? Who fucking knows? The way my career goes, like, I could be here for three years and then have to move abruptly. So so right now I'm taking it uh, camp by camp. But right, I also, like, would like to get, you know, a longer term stay situation going on. So we'll, we'll figure that out when we get there, but we're not going to get there till after this fight. So right now I am fucking balls deep in this fight camp. And, uh, that's all shit to worry about afterwards. Well, let's talk about it, man. Uh, big title fight coming your way, going to combat FC for the first time in your career, a young promotion in uh, the new England area. Uh, but the matchmaker and owner and no, uh, strangers to the MMA cages with Joe calf. And uh, Rick Cal Caldwell. Uh, let's talk yeah. about it, Don. You're going to be fighting uh, Nate Garib, who actually holds their lightweight title. Um, he's, you know, a featherweight by nature, but he's been bouncing around a little bit, man. Let's talk about this matchup and how it came about, because there's been talks in the past about it happening, and finally it is. Well, uh, we'll put it like this. If the fight kind of should have already happened you know it, it's long overdue i said that on a different podcast the other day and uh we're, we're finally getting to mix it up you know i know no i know nate's a gamer and uh i believe i'm a gamer and we're gonna figure it out all the titles and bullshit don't mean shit you know so he's got a few titles i got a few titles let's fucking run it well as far as going to combat fc for the first time and i know uh you're familiar with them had a few uh cross training and trainer partners that have fought on their card. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, how excited are you to get into a whole new cage? And I do believe the cage is a uh, fairly kind of uh, a pretty big cage as far as other cages in New England. Uh, I mean, like the, the cage size doesn't matter. Um, I am excited. You know, I've had great communications with Joe Cab before I ever fought for him. Um, and then talking to Rick as well. You know, everything's been super straightforward that they're treating me well, they're paying me well. And, uh, they're giving me exactly what I want. So why wouldn't I do this? Leave my comfort zone, try out a new promotion, get paid, you know, and, get uh, back to where I belong. And where is where you belong, Don? Uh, number one, holding titles. Where, 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 where do you belong in your eyes as far as uh, where you sit around the, you know, the East Coast or in New England? Fuck New England, dude. I, <laughs> I belong competing with the best in the world. Now, as far as clip that, buddy, you might want to clip that, buddy. <laughs> now, as far as Nate, you have fought some of the best in the world when you have been in the, the UFC and you fought a, a few studs in other promotions on your way up to the UFC. As far as where Nate sits in there and his skill set and what he brings to the table as far as some of your past opponents, recent opponents, uh, you know, how does he stand up to them? 
Uh, well, every every person's different, right? Every fighting style's different. Nate's on the come up. He's on this huge come up. There's a lot of hype behind him. And guess what? I'm on the come back. So I've been there. I've seen that. I, I, I've experienced some crazy fucking things in this career. There were so many things that were out of my control in some fights that I, I couldn't quite get together. And uh, he's on the come up. I'm on the come back. And we're going to find out. Well, one thing uh, you did mention that stood out when uh, before we started the interview was that you're happy now, Don. Uh, you talked yeah, about, yeah. Um, you know, let's t- talk about that. Now, you know, what got over the hurdle? I know you went through a lot, fighting through COVID, um, you know, getting into the UFC, having, you know, some bad luck there, coming back down and trying to work your way up. But <clears throat> what, what is making Don happy nowadays? Um, I'm happy. I, I have my own space. I don't have to share with anyone. I'm, I'm happy. I'm training all the time. Uh, I think there was a major disconnect in in the effort I was putting in in like the the things I had to do to get training back home. Uh, I think that you know the way New England's designed wasn't quite for me. I hated the cold weather. You know, it's not warm out here yet, but the wet like I haven't dealt with snow. Um, I'm working on getting a side job, a little hustle to go on. So, you know, I, I got so many things on the go and not enough time to 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 think about my feelings. It's just go, 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 go. I'm working my ass off. And, uh, you know, and, and I think ultimately, like, it, it's more my happiness and where I'm at mentally that, you know, you could probably see in, a, in the past couple fights, you know, I was dealing with a few scenarios and we don't have to get too into it, but like, and I'm also not like claiming victim to circumstance, like oh, I was sad and shit. But it's like there were there were some things out of my control that that I had to deal with. Gun to your head, you got to make a decision, right? And uh, right now, you know, things are kind of on my time, my terms, and uh, I'm excited. Excellent. Well, excited we are all to see you, man, my man, fighting for another title in the area. Um, as far as this title and going against Nate, um, you talked about leaving your comfort zone. Um, You fought in in a lot of, like, you know, Cage Titans being the home there. Um, You know, you go into Combat FC, Nate is their lightweight champion. Are you the underdog walking in? Maybe not in your eyes, but the fans of Combat FC and maybe, uh, you know, the home crowd that I would imagine might be Nate's unless, you know, Don's selling tickets like he always does. Where is Nate even from, bro? He turns out of Florida. (laughs) Is he even a mascot? Yeah, I think he's, uh, I think, I'm not sure where he originated from, but he does train in, uh, um, you know, the Central Mass area, FAA. uh, And then now. That's Connecticut, bro. That's Connecticut. Connecticut. And now he's in, um, Mm -hmm. now he is in, I guess he's training at, you know, American Top Team. He's at ATT in Florida, bro. He's a Florida boy. So he ain't a mask guy anymore. <laughs> let's talk about that. So this is kind of fair game. Who is the who is the home team here, Don? Who fucking cares, dude? <laughs> dude, you got the two best guys in New England going at it. The two best guys. Where does this put the winner of this fight? One and two. Yeah, but where with where do you think the winner goes from this fight? Just picking up more belts. Uh, we know Nate is uh, maybe, you know, there's some chatter in the back. He wins this fight. He might get a Dana White contender series, a late notice. Where does a win put you, Don? Or you're not thinking about that. You're just chipping away until, you know, an opportunity comes that's bigger than regional. You know what You know what happens next? I'll, I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen, right? The ultimate fighter is right around the corner. Whoever wins this, I'm willing to bet. Like, I can't guarantee this. But I'm willing to bet the winner of this fight gets casted on tough, then wins tough, and then gets their shot in the UFC again. That like if that that that's what what I'm banking on, right? Like, but fuck all that. Like, dude, we got to fight right now. We we don't have time to be thinking about what's after this, right? Well, as far as I'm gonna still go at this crowd and home team because uh, uh, as far as the crowd and the excitement, Don, we know you bring it. Are you expecting yeah. a ton of people? I know you are in Vegas right now, but you sell tickets no matter if you're town in town or out. What are you expecting as far as turnout and support behind you? I'm, I'm expecting my crew to come out. You know, um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, to 
catch everyone. You know, I lived in Plymouth for a little bit, so I had a huge Plymouth base. I'm in the process of hitting uh, everyone. I am texting everyone individually, having separate fucking conversations with a thousand people in my phone right now. Haven't even got to Instagram, Snapchat, all that other bullshit. But um, it's in the works, man. I'm bringing a crew. It's going to be fucking fun. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do what I do every time. As far as uh, corner men, people helping you out, uh, anyone from this area going to be joining the team coming with you from Vegas? So I'm I'm going to try. I, I want to bring someone out. Uh, obviously, there's a financial expense for that, uh, timing, dates, shit like that. So I'm going to see who's available, and I'm going to look at prices. Right now, I would love for that to happen, but Eric Grossman's going to be my, my guy. And then... Um, Zach Cyril is going to help me cut weight. You might even see him in the mix. And then uh, my man, Chris Brennick, he, um, he's unbelievable. Get me warmed up, loosened up, ready. They're spiritually, mentally, physically, everything. Well, Zach Surly, man, that's a great, uh, that's a great name to have with you. Cutting weight, man. He's going to make you laugh. Make it a little easy. (laughs) Uh, He talks shit to fucking everyone. And he's talked shit to me for years, but I'll tell you what, my last fight, he helped me cut weight. He drove me. He didn't ask for a fucking dime. He he's nothing but jokes and good vibes and and like when I needed a little bit of help cutting weight, he he fucking pulled through, man. So like big shout out to Zach Cyril today. Uh, with that said, Don, man, uh, what do we have today? Is uh what like the fourteenth or stuff? So we're uh we're under a month away here. I when, think the sixteenth. When do you come back? When do you like get acclimated back into New England, back into the cold weather, Don, and uh, make your way back here to get adjusted for the fight on the ninth? I believe I requested flights from Combat FC on the first. Um, so I imagine you'll be at, uh, you know, um, your gym, getting work in there, maybe jumping in at Lausanne. You still, uh, you know, jumping in with those guys, Connor's, Connor's basement, mom's basement, all that. Uh, I mean, I'm coming in just for fight week. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all my training and, and, and everything out here. But by, by the time I get back, it's gonna be. Maybe some mid sessions and some some chilling. You, you, the the rest of the work is about cutting weight. Like whoever goes hard, fight week is a fucking idiot. Well, I want my body at hundred <laughs> percent. You know how rare that is. Too many people go hard, and 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 I'll tell you what, right? There's too many people that go hard. Now, you you wanna you wanna go into a fight at hundred percent, and everyone gets bumps and bruises, and it's like it's like I want to be feeling good in there. I I want an easy weight cut. I'm not gonna be busting my ass fight week. No, fight week's about making weight. I fly in the first. My fight's the ninth. All right, I got a a day to do to, day or two to acclimate to the time zone. Cool, and then it's fight week. Well, with that said, Don, what do we expect to see from Don, shameless Don Shanus on February 9th, fighting for that. Combat FC featherweight pro title. Bro, you're going to see me in, in all facets. You're going to see the best version of me. I'm fighting a dirty little calf kicker, and it's going to be fun. He's a gamer. I'm a gamer. We're going to game it up. There's going to be one hand raised. And um, yeah. Sounds good to me. Dirty little calf kicker. I like that, Don. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, Don, man, anything bro. you want to say, shout outs, thank you, sponsors. You might have a, I, I imagine you have a list of them. Bro, bro, anything, I, anything. I got, Throw I got it out a list there. of them, but, I, but I'll tell you what, dude, they might have to change my name from fucking shameless Don to missionary Don because I'm going to fuck some shit up. Excellent. Uh, any social media other than I have your Instagram here and nah, shameless on everything. Let's fucking cut it. Excellent, my man. Uh, last thing, bro. Um, you want to say thank you to anybody, coaches, anything, anything before I let you go? Oh man, I'm I'm super grateful. I, I just did a different podcast where I listed off all my sponsors, everyone, everything, and uh, to think of that off the cuff right now, I'm I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna pass because, uh, dude, I, I went into it in a different podcast. Uh, with the starch, uh, the starch podcast. So, well, thank you Steve, for having po- me on. Excellent podcast, by the way, the starch. I oh, think you, you caught it. I, but I didn't see this one, but I know him. I believe he's from New York, the New York area, maybe Rochester. Um, but a, a very good podcast. He does a lot of, yeah. a lot of, a lot of fighters from new England. So, uh, mm-hmm. hats off to him for getting, you know, some of our fighters, some shine. So with that said, thank Don, you. thank you. Thank you. For, thank you, you know, it's funny. What? 
I don't mean to cut you off. No, so I did an awesome podcast with him. And then I did a podcast yesterday. And I didn't eat before him. And I felt like an asshole in the podcast. Like I need to eat before I get on these podcasts. Cause I'll tell you what, the, the one yesterday I wasn't super proud of, but uh, the one with the starch was great. And the one today I think is going to be great too. Awesome. I'm sure the, the one that you're not thinking was great is probably the best one, Don. They usually are the ones that you <laughs> I think I was a little angry. I was a little angry. <laughs> hey, that's probably I'm, I'm in diet mode right now. I'm fucking skinny. <laughs> I love it, man. You're ripped, man. You're ripped. Don, with that said, man, awesome catching up with you. I will be uh, I will be at that fight watching all the action, and uh, we'll get a word afterwards, bro, and uh, see where you're heading. Fuck yeah, you, you in the media? You going as a fan? I'm going as uh, as me, as a troublemaker, Steve Domenico. Are you getting a media pass? Because you know your boy can sell you a ticket right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? I'll buy a ticket off you, Don. We'll, we'll do Fuck, that. Well, I, I want you to get a media pass, but if you don't get a media pass and you still want to come, I got you. I'm going to get both, and I'm going to give your ticket away. How's that sound? You're the fucking tits, dude. Right there. All right, you're my man. You're the tits, you're the tits and ass. <laughs> let's see another goddamn podcast do that for you. All right, with that yeah. said, Don, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to edit this, and we're going to get it out, and uh, and we'll see you on the ninth, my man. Thank you so much, Steve. Have a good night, bro.